To make a burnt paper effect, we first need to make a hole. Using the lasso tool, draw a wiggly line to define the hole, and don't make it too regular. Go to Layer, Layer Mask, and Hide Selection. Let's add a drop shadow. Go to Layer, Layer Style, and choose Drop Shadow. And you can customise this to go in any direction you want, at any size you want. To make the hole more ragged, make sure the mask is selected and choose Filter, Stylize and Diffuse. And you can see how it roughens up that edge. Click OK and use Command F or Control F to perform that filter a few more times. To soften that edge, go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur. And about a half pixel radius should do it. We'll add a new layer to paint the burn on, set the mode of this layer to multiply, and use the underlying layer as a clipping mask. Switch to the brush tool, select a large soft brush, and choose a light orange as the foreground colour. And as we're using the underlying layer as the clipping mask, it only shows up where it overlaps that layer. Don't make the painting too regular. Switch to a much smaller brush, choose a darker brown, and now paint in the very edges of this burnt paper. Don't make it too regular and miss out the effect in some places for a much more convincing burnt effect. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to this channel.